I'm gonna walk you step by step on how to set up your Cloudways account so that you have a live working domain that you have WordPress on. So let's get into it. If you've been following along, congratulations on getting this far. You've already picked your niche. You already have your domain. You already have your Cloudways set up. And now we're gonna actually make a live site. So this is where the really the starting of the fun begins because we are now gonna be able to build, set this up on autopilot and let it run for the next year, two years while we just sit back, create more sites, create more verticals and make more money. So this is where the fun begins. Let's get into it. We have our site here, we're on Cloudways and we're going to actually connect our domain and start really editing some things. So let's get into it. We're gonna go down to our uh, domain list so domain management, as you can see, this is our current site and it's set to primary. And all you're going to do is add your domain that you purchased earlier. Uh, if, and obviously if you've been following along and going step by step, then you should be ready to enter your domain and actually see it come to live because how cool is it to have a site live ready to start making you money, uh, you know, at any given time versus if, you know, hoping that it, you'll get there someday, because if you don't start today, you know, you won't ever start. So we have our domain here, Roofing Supply Co. Uh, whatever your, you know, domain is, that's what you're gonna put here. Don't put www or anything like that. All you're gonna do is just put the primary domain with no spaces. And we'll see it come here and see some population changes, and then we'll make it primary. And then we'll need to add the SSL. So we have our domain here and now we need to make it a primary. So as you can see, just setting it as primary. And now we'll actually have to add some things into our DNS. So this sometimes a little tip, I like to refresh this because it just sometimes lags and that's annoying. So this is easy, you will, be surprised how easy it is. So all you have to do is go to your uh, website and look for your IP address. It's a set of numbers right here, this location, boom. We're gonna copy this and actually put it as our DNS. So we go here, this is, I use Namecheap. You might've used something else. If you've been following along, you probably have Namecheap. All you're gonna go to is your domain list. Go to the domain that you bought and then head over to advanced DNS. And from the advanced DNS, we're gonna change the A record to the whatever IP that you have. So I just copied the one that I have from Cloudways and pasted it in here. So we're gonna run into some errors, but if you did this correctly, you should see something like this. Your connection is not private, and then it shows our domain, roofingsupplyco.com, and then we can proceed um, we'll, we'll fix this in a second, but I wanted to show you that we are indeed live to our site that we made. So we're going to update all this, but let's go ahead and fix that error because we don't want errors on our site. Those look bad. So now we're gonna go back to where we were at the domain management, but we're gonna go down at 212 to the SSL certification. And so we're just gonna keep it, let's encrypt. We're going to add any domain, so my normal domain, or I guess email, and then the domain name that you have. So we're not gonna put any www, all we're gonna do is keep it simple, roofingsupplyco.com, and we're going to install certification. So while this is installing, uh, you just gotta wait, and then we'll come back and show you what that looks like with no errors. Boom, and it's done. If you're still getting errors, like I'm still getting a forbidden error, it's probably because one, cache, uh, your cache is caching your site. So you just open up a new window or just reset your cache or just uh, wait an hour. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now. Like I'm just gonna delete my cookies and then I'm gonna delete any data on this. And sometimes that doesn't even work. So I go go in incognito mode and see what it looks like. So as you can see, no errors, just straight to the page. And now we begin our site building. So that's exciting. And then if we go back to our main uh, access dashboard, you can see here that our admin panel is now roofing supply co and then wp.admin. Uh, and we're just ready to go. So like I said, we are already set up. Everything's 
done and now we're ready to start launching and creating a beautiful site that earns us money while we sleep.